Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Daylight. See if you are new, hi, hello, welcome to my kind of YouTube universe. I hope you enjoyed this video. If I'm new, do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. So today's video is all I achieved this pro arc. So it's streaks of purple. So I love you guys so much. Let's get this video started. dive right into this flow arc it is not uncommon for me to come looking crazy okay so this video was requested a while back by one of my instagram followers that she wanted me to do it because i did it and put it on my story and said she wanted a tutorial so it's very 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 simple and like oh my hair is like this full it's better to do this style on all the hair because you get the volume and everything so we're going to transform this into a flow arc <laughs> into a flow Arc, rather so everything that you need for this video is you need a brush a hard bristle brush um, whatever brush you like to use on your hair you need gel you also need some scrunchies you need a rat tail comb especially for the, the ends we're not going to detangle we're just going to use the ends to section our hair and as usual some clamp clips always need to section your hair and my favorite thing to use on my edges which is the gorilla snot because I haven't found a edge control that does the job and yes and then this scarf to tie it down okay so let's begin the first thing you want to do is to start by sectioning the hair and the first part to section is the bang part because we're gonna have a bang so I think I don't want no more than this much for my bang yeah I think this this much is okay Okay, so we have everything pre-sectioned. I have four in the back. So as you guys notice, in the front it could be, you know, only three, but I do not want to put too much tension on my edges, so I separate one for just that. Because if you swoop everything into one, you will have tension around right here. So it's best to just divide it into four. Don't try to put too much into the one. Okay, cool. So as you guys know, the purple transfer, it's fading, but it's still transfer. So let's just let it stop. Okay, so let's start off with the back. Okay, so we already did the back now it's time for the front sections as I said before we have two so the aim with the pro hawk is to try to get all the ponytails the small ponytails in a straight line it may be a little, little teeny bit crooked but you can't have one over here and one over here it is just gonna look confusing so try to get all of them aligned so when you're sorry when you're putting in the scrunchie try to feel with your hand like the right here of your hand when you're Okay, you hold it here, try to feel it here, like where is the other one, so you know where exactly to align the, the next ponytail. 
Okay, so we're gonna do this front section. As I, uh, as you guys see, it doesn't have to be perfect. That's the, the best thing about this hairstyle. It does. You don't have perfect partings. You don't have perfect um, sections in that there. The size and may not be equal, but it's okay. It's just a freehand hairstyle. So you just apply a gel. Again, this is a hairstyle that you can do after you just wash, freshly wash your hair, or you can do it after um stale hair, but if it's on sale here, you don't really necessarily have to apply products, but if it's on, you know, freshly washed hair, you want to moisturize your hair, seal it here, and then you can do this side where you apply the gel and then section it. So don't do this on freshly washed hair with just the gel like what I am doing. Apply your moisturizer, apply your leave-in, and apply the, your oil of your preference before you actually put in the gel and do this hair style because it will be dry. Okay, so before you put your next ponytail, try to use a clam clip to hold down the previous ponytail that you, you made so that you don't start snagging on your hair. It is important because the scrunchie will get caught in it and then you will have problems. So try to do that before. You put it, you're finished putting it on your ponytail, so you're going to take your brush, put a little bit of gel on it, just a little bit on the brush, and then you're going to brush everything in. So this will eliminate all partings or all slightly crooked parts that may have been there. You just want to brush in everything so everything is smooth together. But if you like, if you took the time out to, you know, make sure that all your parts are neat and you want them to show, then you just, you know, go section by section. But if you didn't do parts, brush those bad boys in. Brush them in. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so I like to let the girl snort, like let it like sit a little bit for it to get tacky somewhat. It's not going to get extremely tacky, but I like for it to sit a little bit. Okay, so now if you did not have like curls in your hair, like like what I have now, and you wanted to curl it, this is where you will go in with you know, piece by piece and like coil the the put some gel on it. So for example. You have frizzy sections, okay? Let me find a frizzy part. Okay, I have a frizzy part. So you just take some gel on your hand, you just run it over it, and coil it around your finger, just like that, with as much as you want to get that curly full hawk. Okay, so now that's exactly what I'm going to do with the front because the front is not. It ain't what I want it to be. It ain't that frizzy, but it's not what I want. Okay?
Okay, so now it's time for the bang. No, the bang. The bang. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. So as you guys can see, the bang is where we need it to be curly. So even though I have curls in here, I am going to go in and fix them up, the ones that are struggling. Put some gel over them and then we're going to fix it. We can have a cute bang. A cute one. Right? A cute one. is it as you guys can see I added a little bit of more streaks of purple and because I did touch up the bang it, it you know it, it got longer so I had to do the pin the bobby pin thingy where you just put two bobby pins under it to you know make it um seem shorter so if you have extremely um long curly hair in the front and you want it to be the bang you just put two bobby pins right under it so you lift up the hair put two bobby pins right right here and right here and it will you know make it look shorter so the longer you hear is the more you push back it exactly so you guys get the gist so this is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did you know what to do give me a thumbs up and subscribe and if you have somebody who you think would appreciate this video don't forget to share it and you know yeah so i'm super happy with it it's super cute Okay, so yeah, get it together. Okay, so yeah, thank you guys so much again. And to the person I don't quite you know remember her name, but I'm gonna go on my IG and try to put her um, tag her. Like you know, she inspired this video. So if you have something in mind that you would love for me to try, definitely hit me up on IG or you can comment it down in the comment section, and I'll definitely do my best. Maybe it won't take this long like this hairstyle did, but definitely do so. I love you guys so much and thank you guys if you guys want to know the the hair wax that I did put on it you have to watch my previous video which I will do link in the iCards or whatever aside it's on so yeah thank you guys so much I love you guys I'll see you guys in my next one bye